good morning, good morning. The chill is in the air. <coughs> and and, <laughs> been and the too. fall, whatever. Is it ragweed? What's in the fall? What is it that makes it? Because I've been kind of hacking up. Somebody said goldenrod. I, I don't know, but that it, you, it always I gets me right. in the fall. Well, you see this? I keep telling y'all about this. And I saw my, my friend, my brother, Mike Smith, um, who wrote this book, God Keeps Showing Up. Yesterday, more people were found alive in Asheville. Praise the Lord. More people were found alive. That is absolutely amazing. At the same time, many more bodies were recovered. Paul, I've, I've lived through, we were in Florida with Hurricane Donna. We had a tornado that took everything we owned and we had to start over. Killed my brother's next door neighbor. I mean, a lot of things happened that I thought was just tragic. But I've never been affected this much by something that really, we know, it should have gotten us, right. you. It, should, it was headed, it was a direct hit for us. Yeah. And, and it, it went somewhere else. And it, um, I don't know. I don't know what we can do for them. We have a trailer full, and we're going to show some pictures in a minute. It's getting full. Mm -hmm. But we still need your help down in Ball Ground. We want to fill the trailer by Thursday afternoon. And it is going up to the Asheville area. And we ask for products like um, food that can be, you know, like um, beanie weenies, um, um, vina sausages, anything that they can just grab and eat. I bought a bunch of little fruit cups. Mm -hmm. And I said, even without plastic silverware, they can just kind of, I, you know how I know this? My mama used to do it at her desk mm -hmm. and it'd drive me crazy because she'd slurp it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, but we can give back. Yes. We have the ability to give back. And so we're going to show, and this, I want to remind y'all, the Georgia Mountain Fair, that is Lake Chateau. They are still doing the fair. Nothing changed because everything up there is okay. These are the things that we would like to have put on the trailer. So if you have new clothing, blankets, non-perishable foods, sports drinks, water, toiletries, paper products, diapers, baby food, baby formula, any of those things, the trailer is located at the City Hall in Ball Ground. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. Two of my dearest, dearest friends were two of the first to show up with the product, and, and thank you to everybody. And my cousins who came, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. And this is once again my son-in-law doing what he do best, and what he do best is he fishes. And he loves to fish, he's been honored, he's a member of the Hall of Fame. Amazing, amazing guys, but the most amazing thing is the most important thing they love about what they do is teaching children to fish and they love to teach children to fish and it's really really cool so once again he travels a lot he says i work hard so i can play hard and there's the trailer as it was yesterday about noon so if you can keep bringing us stuff we would love to have that thing loaded to the max by thursday evening that would be awesome 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 and if you would like to help volunteer um, to be there and help man the trailer and load things for people when they bring them, that would be great. You could contact Karen Jordan at the City Hall. Let's do it together. Let's do it together and make Asheville know that neighbors are helping neighbors. And that's all we can do. We can pray for them and we can send them what we can. We can. And we should. We should. And, and I'm seething. I'm seething with anger over the fact that the federal government has not shown up. No. I'm seething with anger. Now they said they did send a woman to do an interview. <clears throat> they did send a woman to do an interview. Well, you know, let's <laughs> you put- You know what I think of that. Let's put this in perspective. And if you're in support of this, then I want you to go brag to your uh, friends and family and everybody that's out there so that future generations will know that, that you're perfectly fine with this. I don't think that we should not be having political discussions anymore. I think the worst thing that's happened in our country is the fact that you don't, you, don't talk, you don't talk religion and politics. But yeah. here's the problem. What good is a man that focuses on everybody else but doesn't take care of the, his family? Mm -hmm. What good's a man that on the front row at church is his hands raised in the air, praise God, praise God, and his home is hell on earth for his family? Okay, so that's what we call plastic face. Mm -hmm. Bad thing about society today is people don't pay that close attention to each other and people can behave that way. So you got to take that in perspective and think about what the government's doing right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so forget the political side of this. Just think about what's going on. Zelensky shows up in the United States, asks for $8 billion, boom, it's sent to him. Mm -hmm. 
This administration doesn't even acknowledge anything for three days yeah. after what happens with the single greatest flood that shattered every historical record that we've been Everyone. out there. The French Broad River didn't even have a high water mark at 25 feet outside of Asheville that was large enough to capture the actual water level of what was taking place. Yeah. Devastation for these families. Now, Katie and Tyler live in Augusta, mm -hmm. and it was 48 hours before Tyler could get out. Katie was traveling on business b before he could get within a mile of their apartment. Wow. So they're having to stay with us right now because there's not going to be power until... But Augusta was hit horrible. Hard, yeah. But nowhere near as bad as what's taking place up there. Mm -hmm. Now, we saw what happened with the Lahaina fires in, in Hawaii. $700. Seven, $700 is what the government gave yeah. the yeah. people. Yeah. And then th they th still devastation that community. But let's put this in perspective, okay? I did the math on this. So $8 billion, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. $8 billion. You divide that by 450,000, mm -hmm. that's 17,700 houses that can be built for $8 billion. Mm -hmm. 17,700, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We should help our people first in times yeah. of tragedy before we go do all this ridiculous stuff. And the problem is this administration, I'm sorry, I've always been a political atheist. I am. I'm an independent. But... But we can't continue to go in the direction we're going on. No. We need to focus on our own in this country. I-40 is wiped out in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got, you know, uh, even locally in our local grocery store at Ingalls, oh, yeah. Holly was Ingles. telling me. And, and we talked about that yesterday. Ingalls is, you don't think about they're based in no, Asheville. You they're don't. based in Asheville. Their warehouse is four feet deep in water. Yeah. And today, thank God, I passed by Jasper Ingalls and it was still open. I was mm -hmm. so excited. We need to pray for those local businesses that are always there for us weekly, you know. Yeah. Now we need to get there for them. But uh, if the government is not working for the people mm -hmm. and they're not they're working, not. working for the people, that's the, th that's the thing that I don't understand. I'm they're sorry. Mm -mm. I, 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 I am sorry if this offends somebody. You're going to have to get over it. The re reality is, is you've got RFK and I hear people say, oh, he's a kook. Well, don't tell that to me if you're getting your news from Fox News or CNBC or MSNBC or CNN because you're too lazy to go do the research and take mm -hmm. the time to actually listen to what they say. Right. Now, I go listen to what both sides say because an independent, I don't. I, I, I want to know who's what's best for the country. Right. I want to know what's best for our kids going forward. Right. And we have an administration, you know, we have an election coming up that people are saying, one side is saying, oh, I'm going to change and make everything great. You've been in the White House for four years. Yeah. Why didn't you do some of this stuff before? Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. what that is, is it's no different than the man that stands on the front row at church, raises his hands and praises the Lord, mm -hmm. and he does it for the perspective of all the people that's around. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of people don't end up going to church because they're tired of the hypocrisy that's in there because the church didn't discipline itself to make sure that that you know we're bearing the name of uh, God honorably. And I think the best thing I've heard about anybody with this is it's like the arsonist whoo burning your house, burning your barn, stealing your animals and then coming back with a small fire extinguisher. Yeah. That's kind of like they've been there four years and now they're going to show up with a fire extinguisher. But the point is, this is a trajectory we've been on in a lot different. You know, I mean, this has been we've been on this path for 12 years. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 eight of the past 12 years, the Democrats have been in control. The same administration from Obama to the to Kamala to, Kamala, to Biden, the deception, the deceit. OK, that's there. Right. But here's what bothers me more than anything. We've got problems in our country right now. We've got mm -hmm. infrastructure issues. Our debt is through the roof. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm telling you, mathematically, if you carried the debt from a national level that we do individually inside the United States, you could not get a loan at a bank to go buy something, mm -mm. okay? Mm -hmm. But you've got politicians that, that are having their pockets lined by corporations, and, and the creep has been across the board. So Holly and I went to Vegas this weekend for the first time in probably 12 years. Mm -hmm. I will say this, on a good side, the sphere... <coughs> The Sphere in uh -huh, Las Vegas. Uh -huh. I know what it is. I am mind blown. Yeah. Like I'm a, I like technology. So yeah. it was terrifying to have a conversation with an artificial intelligence robot. Yeah, isn't that weird? <laughs> and then the second thing is 18,000K, it's the first time that 
you could take a scenery of a picture and it actually do it justice. Isn't that crazy? There's one point where we're going out and I'm holding on to the chair having to remind myself that I'm sitting in a chair. That's how realistic it was. Wow. But anyway, so here's the thing. MGM Grand's bought up all the resorts. So you basically have a monopoly of what takes place in Vegas. I was wow. blown away by how expensive it was. And I'm not a gambler, okay? I'm not yeah. a gambler. We just didn't want to go to the Caribbean. I wanted to stay on the mainland. And the sphere is what tilted us over for our 27th yeah. anniversary, yeah, 27 yeah. years. And up. his 50th birthday because I told him after 50 it spreads out, gives out, falls out. <laughs> yeah, and I've been having neck problems <laughs> since I turned 50. Yeah. But um, uh, I was amazed at how expensive it was. So what's happened in our country is these administration, because of their own desire to line their own pockets, okay, and this is on both sides, that's why I'm a political mm -hmm. independent, have allowed corporate capture to monopolize. So the reason it's so expensive in Vegas, used to when all of those hotels were independent, they're competing against each other sure. for business. So the, the, the point being is, is coming back, we don't need to be spending money, sending money over there. Eight no. billion dollars is 17,700 homes. We've spent, sent, I don't know what the number is, but I'm sure it's over 100 billion at mm -hmm. this point. Mm -hmm. So if you take eight, 110, that's 175,000 houses that could be built. Mm -hmm. Uh, inside the United States, house prices are too high. Yeah, great, this is wonderful. Stock market's doing great because they're barring us into oblivion right. to make sure that things are good here in the short run. Mm -hmm. Information comes out over- For the, their benefit. Yeah, for, oh, their, for benefit. their benefit. Yeah. 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 So look, I, I, we, something has to change in this country and we need to come together. We need to come together as Americans. It doesn't matter if you're on the Democratic, let's show some respect to your neighbor and have a conversation. Before you, you know, go with the media talking points, mm -hmm. stop being lazy. Go do the research yourself out there and listen to what the people are actually saying. Yep. Actually listen to them, okay? I'm not a raging fan of Donald Trump in any way whatsoever, but I am extremely concerned about the direction that we're heading in on this election. And when you have Tulsi Gabbard and RFK and some of these others recognize that path A leads to destruction far quicker than what the other one uh, would. You know, even just protecting our freedom of speech. Sure. That's ridiculously important. We saw important. that at its best last night. You said you fell asleep and didn't see it. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Well, CBS, shame, 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 shame. Oh, at the end when of When Vance it. called him out and said, no, fact check, and he gave him the fact check, they muted his mic. You talk about they're already doing it, and they haven't even gone back, in, they're in power now. So it's already done, but they muted his mic when he called him out on that they, they shut him down when they shouldn't have. When he told, when his opponent told a lie and then they fact checked it and he tried to correct it and CBS wouldn't let him. They, well, they shut his mic down. How would you like to be shut down today? Well, I mean, it, it, it's gonna happen. If we, I mean, that's if what's we taking go place. in that direction, it's certainly You got John will. Kerry that came out and said, said the one thing that's standing in our way and I'm misquoting. Oh, I, heard, I heard exactly is, what he said. Is the Second Amendment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Your freedom of speech is what's standing in the way of totalitarians taking over. Mm -hmm. And the worst part and is. they're determined to do it. All right, women, here, here's some perspective. I want to put in perspective that people understand because I think if we're talking about this up here, I want it on a personal level. Nearly every woman has met, met a man who will tell them anything that they want to hear mm -hmm. so that he can get what he wants. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the, that is, that in my opinion is the most evil type of man that's out there. Mm -hmm. That's a weak man because that weak man. He has a path to, he has a path and he's gonna follow that path to get what he wants no matter what he has to say. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, I, 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 and I know somebody just like that and they're running for president. <laughs> if, you, if you're a woman, <laughs> yeah. right? And, and, um, and you've experienced, you haven't experienced that, good for you, God's prote protected you. But in today's society, so the consequences that, and after they get what they want, they're gone. Yeah. What people don't understand is there's a lot of people I think that supported the Democratic Party because they were the party of 30, 40 years ago that really were for the people. Mm -hmm. But we've seen a flip, that party's been captured by by corrupt individuals. Criminal. And we it's see criminal. it in every way. Yeah, it, it's it, criminal. It, and it is criminal. And you know, all the corruption that's taking place in Ukraine, there's no audits. Those same people that wanted to force a vaccine on you, okay? So Gavin Newsom came out in California today and signed the Not law. Not only force a vaccine, take your children out of school. Tim Waltz took his, the kids in his state out of school. Two years, two years. <sighs> 
two years. It's ago. insane. It's crazy. But here's the thing. Oh, you got to have a, a, a vaccine proof, right? Mm -hmm. And look, I hate it, but the, but the data on the vaccine thing's coming out now, and there's a lot of people that regret doing it. But the reality is, oh, you got to have this. You got to have an ID to get on a plane, but you, but you you don't want to have an ID to vote. To vote, right? Sure. So sure. if we really care about being honest, it should be fully disclosed in front of the people. The Bible says, bring it into the light. You know, anytime that we want to keep something in the secrets to protect our own image of ourselves in front of people, or to hide something that we don't want people to know about us. I mean that that's the only reason for secrecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Freedom of speech, the reason they want to remove that, okay, is not about you getting your feelings hurt. It's about the fact that iron sharpens iron. And, and if you really love your family, you'll challenge them in love if they're headed down a bad path, right? Mm -hmm. So the, one of the things that we have to have is share ideas and try to serve, uh, try to find the truth in society. A part of it is the reality that somebody's going to get their feelings hurt, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you not drive because you can have a wreck and die? Every time you get in that car, you can have a wreck and die. But we accept that inside of society. Mm -hmm. But we want to take these extreme examples, oh, somebody's going to get their feelings hurt. Well, we understand the importance of the risk of, of having an accident in today's society and drive so that we can function in society. Mm -hmm. We're a lot better society because we have transportation, we can drive, we're mobile, right? Right. Society's going to be better if we have freedom of speech and we accept the fact that somebody's going to have an accident and, and, and it's tragic and that happens. And it's, it's bad that somebody gets their feelings hurt and it's bad that somebody puts out their ideas that we don't want to, that we don't want to believe in. Mm -hmm. But having the ability to challenge people in authority and ask questions, it shouldn't be wrong to ask, show me that this election is real and that there's no um, shenanigans going on there. Right. There is nothing wrong with questioning that whatsoever. There is nothing wrong, right? And uh, so I'm, I'm just, I'm livid over the fact that we have this tragedy that's occurred. This is where this rant's coming from. In Asheville, in, in Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, our neighbors, they are our neighbors. They're our so neighbors. So it's up close and personal now. They're our it's neighbors. It's a personal level. This, yeah. this, this is personal. This is close enough to where, where we can help in any way we can. Yeah. This is close enough where we should demand that the federal government Stop worried on somebody else's family and take care of your own first. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, this for me is just kind of the final straw that shows this administration, these politicians do not care about the American people. No. They care about their own power and they care about their own globalist <laughs> agenda mm -hmm. and they're globalists. Globalists. Now, if you really realize that they're globalists, they want to see the, the U.S. has to fall in its standing to be equal with the rest of the world, to merge us into this one world government. That is what they are. And, and go do the research and prove me wrong. Go do the research and really have the courage to take the time to look at it and prove me wrong because I don't see any other outcome. I'm open to ideas. But when you look at what's <coughs> taking place and it's, oh, $8 billion, put it in perspective, that's 17,700, dollars homes, okay? Another problem that we're not heard about yet, but we're going to, is those people didn't have flood insurance in no, a large majority no. of those places. And these insurance companies are not going to pay if you don't no, have flood no. insurance. And, and you've driven the Appalachian Hills and you know yes. those mountain roads and you know that most of those people, everything they owned was right there and it was either not insured, underinsured, or didn't have flood insurance because whoever thought the mountains would flood and wash away yeah. So not only, you know, we talked yesterday a little bit, Matt Dabler was here, we were talking about keepsakes and things. What we end up with after this life is what we have in our heart, our heart. Yeah. Our memories are in our heart. So when we lose those precious things in a flood, in a fire, in a tornado, we still have the memory of those precious things. Those people have lost everything. 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 And, and many families maybe one person survived out of six or maybe two out of five. You know, we saw pictures that just, it, it was like a third world country. Yeah, People covered in mud and, and buried alive and just horrible things. And then we send $8 billion to a foreign country that wouldn't give us cream to drink our coffee. Yeah. Why did we do that? 
to benefit somebody else. Well, for a globalist agenda. That's it. And That's the it. Money, money laundering program to run it back. Here's the thing. <coughs> That's it. I may be wrong. I, I may be wrong on where I think this is going, but I am not confused. Yeah. Right? Yep. Okay? So, um, and, uh, and, and I put in the effort to try to, to lay it out in the scales. Okay, what are they saying? But what are they doing? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you really want to understand who somebody is, <coughs> listen to what they say and ask if that's, and, and watch to see if that's, if they do what they say. Yeah. If they don't do what they say. Right. And they're not an example. Okay. Yeah. Look, there, there are things that for kids, it's like there's rules for you and there's rules for me. When you're older, those rules will change a little bit. It's a little bit different if your parents are telling you to do something at 14 or 15 you don't need to do this, right? Yeah. I don't think kids need to have a beer at 14 or 15 no, years no, old. No, no, I don't have any problem with an adult uh, <laughs> having it that can do it responsibly. So there are things like that. But, but what they're telling you, they're telling you what you want to hear. It's no different than that man that'll tell a woman what he wants to, to, to get what he wants, tell, tell her what she wants to hear so that he'll get what he wants. Yeah. And, the, and they're heading into another direction, yeah. right? So... That, that, that's the reason I'm so concerned about what's taking place. I have never seen so many people that have stayed politically neutral with their tongue, especially on Wall Street. Mm -hmm. You really don't hear mm -hmm. it that often. Mm -hmm. That are coming out and saying, we're, we're, we're headed down a tra tragic path. And yeah. it's not too late to change it if we do. And I know I'm taken away from talking about this, but this all comes back to what's taking place in Nashville, North Carolina. The government should be sending that money, they should be mobilizing National mm -hmm. Guards from mm -hmm. wherever, but Tennessee National Guards overseas, yeah. right? Yeah. So w we should send the resources in there to help our citizens, to help our people, and to get it back up and running as quickly as possible. I-40, like you said, however many dozers it takes to get in there. Whatever. Put Whatever. it in there and get yeah. it done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and it is so... It's so unreal because, you know, as you drive through that, we've all been through the Blue Ridge Mountain Parkway and we've all seen it. It was pristine. Yeah. It was so beautiful. No matter what we go in there and do, it will never be the same. It yeah. will never be the same. There'll be hillsides gone. There'll be trenches and ditches and it will never be the same. But we need to be there supporting them we to do. do whatever we can do. And instead, we're sending $8 billion. Now, we haven't even talked about <coughs> the... 22 billion, 22 million who have illegally crossed the border each got a, a debit card valued at at least $13,000. Okay, that's a hotel, that's riding in Uber, that's buying food. Um, the EBT card, you know, you can go and, and you can spend it in whatever grocery store you want to, but we have seen case after case of people who would say, hey man, I got this card, if you'll give me $150 cash, you can use it for $400. They're turning it into cash. They're doing everything possible. And these are people who have no connection to my United States. No. And I can give you a list of single moms right here in Gilmer County, single moms, at least five of them working, taking care of their children, furthering their education, who can't even get an EBT card. Maybe because they make a little too much. Daycare is $165 a week per child today in this area. In this area, we took a kid out of daycare and are splitting up the time keeping her to keep from having to pay $165 a week. We are not taking care of our own. No. We are not taking care of our own. And I was going to show something on the air, and, and you would love it, but it says I was going to dress as a Democrat for Halloween, but I couldn't get my head um, up my far enough. So, <laughs> and I said, That's funny. It, it, my favorite sign out of this whole campaign year has been one in ball ground that says, stay poor, vote Democrat. And that pretty much says it because we're going to stay poor. We're going to stay in a mess. We're going to stay in destruction for the class of people that I'm in, middle class, we're going to stay there because we have allowed our money to go elsewhere and do something else. We have because... 17,000 homes really is a drop in the bucket for what Asheville lost. Oh, yeah. 17,000 homes is a drop in the bucket. Because I would say there have probably been more homes than that lost. I don't know how many homes With are Florida, lost. Georgia, South Carolina. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that money would have rebuilt that, yeah. that whole corridor. Yeah. 
Well, and put it in this perspective, so $8 billion, since we're using that example, let's talk about uh, child care. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous that we can't get affordable child care within this country. Yeah. It's ridiculous that we're not making sure that our own are taken care of first. I'm so, there, there's nothing about 22 million illegals or 10 million illegals, 5 million illegals. It doesn't matter what the number is. It's unacceptable. Yeah. Because we want, I want the best and brightest here. I want people to come in, go through a normal immigration process, want to be in this country, to be educated or whatever. Sure. Come on in. Let's, let's, let's preserve the, the, what has made America great. Let's protect against what hasn't made America great. But if you're bringing in all these illegals that are essentially refugees and you're rewarding them by giving them, mm -hmm. you know, Charlie, uh, was it Warren Buffett or Charlie Munger said, show me the incentive and I'll show you the outcome. Sure. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, if I wanted to have 500 friends and I had the money, you know, they're there all the time. I'd write everybody a check for $14,000 a year, mm -hmm. and they'd do pretty much anything you want for quite right. some time. Take exactly. them on nice trips, exactly. do all this stuff, and they're going to hang around me, not because they like me, but they're going <coughs> to hang around money. me because of what yeah. I give them. Follow the money. But let's talk about this. $8 billion at $1,000 a month would provide daycare for single moms that have to work for 667,000 Americans. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay. can you do this math? And 60,000 uh, 7, You're the Americans. math dude. Okay, if somebody's working for $14 an hour times, their, and most of them are only getting 30 hours a week because okay. most of the employers don't want to pay, don't want to have you on full time. So 14 times 30 is what? $420 a week. Okay, take out taxes. Uh, well, I'll get to that. I'm going to okay. do it on the gross side. So, uh, and, and they're not going to work a full 52 weeks a year. No. Right? So if you're no. hourly, you're not getting paid on your days no. off. No. So let's say you're, there's two weeks that you lose in there, so that's $21,000 a year. Right. Now, at $21,000 a year, they should not pay taxes. Okay, but $165 a week times 50 weeks. How much is that out of that? $165 a week times 50 weeks. Uh -huh. 165 times 50 is $8,250. So their income just came down to about uh, $12,000? 12000 a year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, twelve thousand dollars a year. And how can you afford to rent? A thousand dollars a month. A thousand dollars a month for groceries, gas, medical, yep. and um, housing. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. So what do we do? Well, we don't vote. I'm gonna say it. We don't vote for that party that's run by KH. I don't say her name anymore because it just nauseates me, and I hate to start my day sick at my stomach. So. <laughs> But we've got to do something. We've got to do something. And and did you see the, I don't know who put this post on, but it was Facebook, and this was the perfect time. It was showing the flooding in Asheville with a flag there, and it said, we should not send one penny overseas until we fix all this problem brought on by Helene. It's true. We should not send one penny, and I don't know who, it was brilliant. Whoever did this picture, it was absolutely brilliant. We should not. But right now, we're going to take about a three-minute break because I want you to see. Ball Grand had an event last Saturday, and it, we will show it in its entirety on a special. But we're just going to show you just a couple of minutes of it because Ball Grand was honoring Gold Star families. And if you don't know what a Gold Star family is, then thank God that you don't because you haven't lost a loved one at battle. You haven't lost a loved one who gave it all to fight for your rights and my rights. Our rights are still intact right now, but that doesn't mean they always will be. CBS proved that very well last night when they mm -hmm. censored what J.D. Vance was arguing, and he argued a truthful point. So if we don't protect our rights, I won't be here anymore, because if I can't speak the truth here, I won't be here, period. And that's what I'm so concerned about. We're gonna let them take our nation from us we can slam on the brakes. Mm -hmm. We can slam on the brakes by voting and voting correctly. And you know how I vote. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But we're going to go now to this just a little tiny bit of the event that was in Ball Ground. And this was to honor those who gave all.
We'll have our Pledge of Allegiance by Jonathan Nelson. Praise. Marine Corps Detachment League. Praise that. Colors. Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Carry. Colors. Ready. Cut. Mark time. March. Right turn. March. Forward. March. I'd like to call on Mr. Mike Smith to give our invocation. Please pray with me. Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us and for this special occasion that we've gathered here today. We're thankful for all the military people that have served, the men and women throughout the years, but today is a special day. We honor those that have served their country and given their life for their country, the last full measure of their life, the total commitment defending our freedoms. We lift their families up this day, Father, the Gold Star mothers, the Gold Star families, and I pray that you would wrap your loving arms around them, that you would give them peace and comfort that can only come from you. And Father, we pray for those that are in service now, both home and away, and I pray, God, that you would protect them, put a hedge of protection around them, support and strengthen their families while they are deployed, and strengthen them, Father, as only you can. Father, we know that you founded this country. We founded it on faith in you. Our rock is in you and in Christ, Father. In God we trust, and that has not changed. So, Father, thank you for the military, for the foundation and their families that support this nation. And I pray, God, that you would be glorified and that those that served would be honored this day. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Scott McAlilly. My name is Dennis Nelson. I'm your MC for this dedication event. I was elected to the Ball Ground City Council in 2021 and currently serve as the Mayor Pro Tem. So on behalf of Ball Ground Mayor Rick Roberts, Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Nom, nom, nom.
He's loose. He's across the 40 to the 50. It's a foot race to the end zone. Keep it. He's got a little bit of running room. Hops over a defender. Picks up the first down. There he goes up the middle. He'll be cut down at the 20. He's into the end zone for a fan and rebel score. Catches it in stride. He'll go to the end zone. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Hey y'all, guess what? That botanical garden that you just saw a little flip of is free to everybody. Go by, get you a lunch, pack you a picnic, walk down there and enjoy everything about the botanical garden in Ballgram because it is free. Compliments of a whole bunch of folks who've worked really, really hard and you will get to see that event in its entirety on ETC shortly. So, now, you know what? We're in trouble. We're in trouble, but we can get out of this. Do you know how we get out of this? Choices. Choices. We make a choice to vote the way Sherry votes. <laughs> we make a choice. We make a choice. We make a choice to take our country back. To take our country back and to make it work as a, I don't want to use the word business, but as a successful joint venture because it, it's your business, it's my business, mm -hmm. it's Trace's business. It's a joint venture for all of us because we all reap the benefits of a great America. We do, but at the, at, at the same time, and this is why the choices are so important, this is what people don't understand. As a small business owner, I have to deal with creeping government regulations that are overpowering. Oh yeah, Okay. oh yeah. It, it's the small business against the individuals that wanna have monopolies, right? So, you know, too big to fail banks. Okay, well, let's get bigger, things like that. All mm -hmm. of our local community banks were decimated in 2008, and the government's sure. not allowing them to come back. Yeah. We got to make different choices, mm -hmm. right? We just have to make well, we different We got to give credit to one bank that stood. Oh, one Community bank. bank of Pickens. Community Bank stood. of Pickens County. Community Bank of Pickens County yep. still standing strong, stronger than ever, because they made local decisions, and they did it. Yeah. They did it. They did. And um, so, so yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I, I may be frustrated right now, but I'm an optimist. I really am because the one thing that, that, that our faith in Christ, if, you know, the Lord tells us if we'll confess our sins, he's faithful and just to heal us, right? Jordan Peterson talks about sinning as missing the mark. We're missing the mark mm -hmm. when we're not taking care of our own. <clears throat> we're missing the mark when... We're more concerned about a soundbite to say who, do, you know, do you want Ukraine to win or do you want Ukraine not to win? Well, I want the killing to stop, mm -hmm. right? I want the killing to stop. But what people don't pay attention to until you go back and do the research, and I didn't either, is these same individuals that are so gung-ho about this war are either tied to the military industrial complex to mm -hmm. where they're profiting from it, or they're of the belief that there's too many people on the face of the earth and we need to reduce the population. So they're just fine with the lives that are lost over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, 
So that, that's the problem on where we are. Pay attention to what they're doing. We need to stop the killing that's there, get peace, that's what should happen, and let's come back and focus on where we are here. <coughs> focus on our individuals first. We shouldn't be sending money over there. I was listening to a soundbite this morning that came out, and President Biden was uh, uh, laying out the fact that... Who? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who? Pres President Biden. He's back from the beach? Well, they haven't removed his title, so I'm going to yeah. go ahead and give it. Okay. Yeah. But he's, he's laying back out. back from the beach. He, he laid out the statement, we've already planned to give Ukraine money. They just haven't asked for it yet. Okay, well, how about let's plan to make sure that these families in North Carolina send in as much uh, uh, help as we can. Because individually, we're, we're reaching out and doing that in any way that we can, but our tax dollars that we're, we're paying, you know, and a lot of us will work till May of every year before you actually get to put it in your pocket, if mm -hmm. you put it into perspective, that money's going into areas that should be coming back to supporting our individuals, rebuilding I-40, getting those things up and running. So, um, so Were anyway. you shocked when you saw what happened to the interstates? I was blown away, yes. Because to me, it did not look real. I thought that somebody was photoshopping stuff. Well, At first, I couldn't believe it because I thought, how could that? I've been on that road in a tractor and trailer I don't know how many times. Yeah. How could that? How could it disappear? It disappeared. It disappeared. Well, I mean, think about it. So what, they had 36 inches of rain mm -hmm. within a 24-hour within a period of time. Mm -hmm. Was that correct? So just go, go in your backyard and look. Three feet of water. For me, that's mid-thigh or something mm -hmm. like that and um, my arm's three feet. So you take that and, and put it up, that's that much water over everything all at once, mm -hmm. and then it has to go down. And so there's a lot of questions to be answered. There's a lot of heartbreak, and, and we've got to focus on our own. Mm -hmm. We have to focus mm -hmm. on our own. And if we're not taking care of our <laughs> own, what good is a man? What good is a, what good is a father? What good is a mother? Mm -hmm. If they let their own uh, petty desires and their weakness get in the way of taking care of their children? Okay, it's disheartening, it's demoralizing. A lot of our youth in our country right now are demoralized oh, yeah. because they're, they see all the pictures of the influencers on social media living a life that, that is a plastic face and then they look around and because of the monopolistic control of the big corporations, it's harder to achieve what's called the American dream mm -hmm. And we've allowed corporate institutions to come in and buy these homes and drive up the prices to the point, plus government regulations on top of it. Some of mm -hmm. them make sense, some mm -hmm. of them don't. We've got to change the path that we're in. It's not too late. It's not too late to deal with our national debt, but it's, it, it is too late to deal with this without all of us experiencing some pain. Mm -hmm. But it's better to experience a little bit of pain now than it is to experience a lot of pain later. And I'm telling you, if we don't change the trajectory that we're on right now, and you've got an administration that says, we're going to make things great. We're going to do this. Well, you've been in there for four years and you haven't done anything about it. Okay? <clears throat> They've added to the problem. Yeah. And, oh, well, let's in, just in talk. In many multiples. Let's just yeah. talk about joy. Yeah. Okay? Joy oh, is yeah. a plastic face. We oh, should God. mourn. Where our, where our country is right now. We should mourn the decisions that we've made individually. We should mourn the fact that we're where we are and change the direction that we're in. And that will bring about a brighter future. That will mm -hmm. bring about better times. Mm -hmm. And um, so I am optimistic. I'm optimistic that even if the American people are so deceived that they choose the wrong path on the other side of the pain, Good people will rise up that have their eyes on the Lord, that care about other individuals, that love other individuals. Love is a choice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and brighter times will come again. But, but we need to change it. We need to change that direction now. And I'm not just talking about the election. I'm just talking about we need to put pressure on our government to focus on this area of distraction, uh, destruction and get in there and help put whatever resources we need to have in there. You know, area. the first person to show up was Franklin Graham and his dad. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, his, his dad was such an amazing person with a heart of gold and, and they've turned it into helping others yeah. because that's what we are commanded to do. Yes. And they don't just talk about it, they do it. They were on the ground before anybody else. They were on the ground with tractors and trailers of relief supplies. 
and and I've told this story in the past. I, I, you know, the Red Cross is the Red Cross, and if you want to donate to the Red Cross, that's your business. But when we got hit by the tornado, seven days after we lost everything, the Red Cross showed up. Well, in seven days, we had already we're we're self-sufficient, pretty determined country folk. And we got out there and we cleaned up our own mess and we did the debris and we got dumpsters and we had volunteers and we did it. And by the time the Red Cross showed up, you could tell that our place was gone and we had a, a concrete pad left there. But we were doing for ourselves because they didn't show up for seven days. Mm -hmm. And in seven days, seven days uh, rot and mold and mildew and problems. And so you can't wait seven days. Mm -mm. To me, you can't wait 72 hours. Mm -mm. And, and so when these politicians say, well, we want to let them get it together before we come down there and disrupt anything. Excuse me, you should have had on galoshes and wading boots and you should have been down there. Well, yeah, you, you should have gone down there and you should have had the humility to show up and say, hey, what can I do? What can I do? Right. I may be the federal government, but I'm I don't here. have what the answer to do? everything. Yeah. What can I help you do? You're the local sheriff. You're yeah. on the ground. Like I saw a video uh, yesterday in Augusta. So Katie, my son-in-law and daughter live in Augusta and Tyler started medical school. Well, Katie was traveling on, on business when all that happened. I mentioned he couldn't get out, but he was talking about how he saw people boiling water in their front yard under fire because there's mm -hmm. no power, mm -hmm. right? And they don't have anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. But I did see a video where, the, where this guy- And that's, am I right, about 180 miles from us? Yeah. About 180 yeah. miles, yeah. 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 And I felt like a fool because I, I thought Augusta was going to be missed. And Katie, you know, calling, she's like, hey, Dad. I just realized my shirt was on. <laughs> hey, Dad, uh, that's where I put the bike up. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm, laughs> I should have had a gold chain on for my shirt open that much. But anyway, um, so, uh, so yeah, you know, she, he called her at 4 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, Lauren's off the bank. She mm -hmm. recorded the message and sent it to us. And I just didn't realize that it was going to hit him that hard. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm a horrible father-in-law. I didn't even call and check on him. Yeah. But um, uh, the video showed the local cops coming up, and this guy's uh, uh, got the keys to all the heavy equipment. And he's like, I don't know who owns this equipment here. We'll deal with it later. Um, and the cops were okay with it. And he takes the excavator and starts clearing out some of the streets. That's awesome. Right? That's awesome. That's, That's awesome. what we need to do. Whoever owns that equipment. Hands on. Hands yeah. on. And the, and the, the state can pay them for the compensation of the equipment. Yeah, but whatever. getting in there and doing something. Yeah. So if the government comes in, a real leader that cares about his people or his family will show up and say, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can I do? You tell mm -hmm. me. And then if they figure out something better to do while the logistics are working in the background, mm -hmm. then step up and take that lead, but you've got mm -hmm. to be there to help. Mm -hmm. And and we described this because the Palm Sunday tornado is what, yeah. you know, it took a lot of lives, a lot of damage, a lot of, but it was on the ground 30 seconds, 30 seconds. These people had 24 hours and, and it got worse by the moment, but 30 seconds did all the damage it did in Pickens County, Dawson County, and a little mm -hmm. bit of Gilmer County. You think about that, 30 seconds, okay? That was catastrophic, but it was nothing compared to Asheville. Nothing compared to Johnson City, Tennessee. Nothing compared to Greenville, South Carolina still doesn't even have power. No. So Greenville, Augusta, that little swoop and there but for the grace of God go you and I because it was direct hit for us. And that could have been us here. Direct hit for us. And the thing is, is it's like, look, if you're in Florida and a hurricane's coming, you know what to expect. And if sure. you stay, if you stay, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. And and your lack of planning should not constitute an emergency for everybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. right? That's just the way and, it is. And living in Florida through a hurricane, that's how people addressed it. That's right. Is you prepare or you and go. you wait it out or you go, you leave. But so when you're that's in, how you do when it. But when you're in our area or you're in Helen, North Carolina, and there's no thousand year flood simulation that the government makes you do that, that even comes close to what they experienced, mm -hmm then it's not foolish to stay at home. None of us would have ever expected that you would have that type of rain that would happen Never. that quickly or that type of damage. There's yeah. no historical record of ever seeing that. Uh -uh. And, so, and so that's the situation to where, yeah, there's no warning. Government's got to step in there and, and mm -hmm. take care of that. Got to do it. Well, did you know who's coming to Lindale, Georgia? No, I did, did not. Did you know that 
my vice presidential candidate, J.D. Vance, is going to be there on Friday. So Friday at 1 o'clock in Lindale, and it's going to be an exciting event. Yes, I have my tickets. I just have to find somebody to work for me that day. So I'm hoping I can do that. Um, I'm excited. Last night's debate gave me hope because after seeing how the debate went, I'm sure that Tim Waltz will vote Trump Vance. There's no <laughs> doubt. I, I missed that. It so. was really good. They had a good conversation, and poor Tim knew that he was not the one. <laughs> he was That's not funny. the one. Everybody in America knew he was not the one. But J.D. Vance did amazing. And, 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 you know, somebody said last night, they said his hillbilly came out in him because he was honest from the heart. And that describes our area. That describes our hearts. That describes you really come out when your heart is exposed. And his yeah. heart was exposed last yeah. night. And you could see what he felt like. One time I thought he was on tear up talking about his, his upbringing. Mm -hmm. and, and many of the folks in our community have been on meals and wheels. Many of the folks in our community have had a decision do I keep the power on tonight to keep it warm in the house or do I save those few dollars to be able to put food on the table tomorrow? We've been in that situation. Many people in our areas have been. And you know, we are affluent in many areas around here. We are still very rural in many areas around here and people are living on that little check that comes from the government. Mm -hmm. If you're getting $885 a month, a month, as your income, and I know elderly couples that that's all they have to live on, and you get behind the bimbo in Walmart who's got her EBT card, and she buys $885 worth of groceries, and she doesn't speak English, and she's got the iPhone 15 now, and she's standing there, and she's spending in two buggies of groceries, witnessed it, what these elderly people are getting to live on for a month. Mm -hmm. And you think about it, we're broken. We are broken. Well, we're broken, and, and you have to ask the question, right? Like, do you fault that person that, that's taken that, that's given it to them? No, because they're trying to make ends meet just like everybody else. Well, when she came across the border, she was given that card. Yeah, so who you fault is the government that has set it up that way. Because, you know, they can't get a, a, a vote from that person that's getting $880 a month. Mm -hmm. But these new people coming in that they want to have, because mm -hmm. statistics show that they mm -hmm. tend to vote Democrat when sure. they come in the door. Sure. Y'all, that's, that's, I just don't understand it, right? If you can't see that it's self-serving for a bunch of narcissistic, psychopathic individuals, then I'm sorry, I just pray that the Lord grants you wisdom, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're so afraid to let go of your worldview because you're grandfather that was a really good man voted one way and you think that that's the way you're honoring him doing that today then you need to question yourself if that really good man would would pay attention to the details and do the research and ask myself have i been deceived mm -hmm. okay? absolutely absolutely so um we we have to take responsibility as individuals in the united states and we have to take care of our elderly look mm -hmm. we're in a situation where inflation's bad because of government policies yeah, yeah. okay and these elderly are being priced out because of government policies. It's sad. And, and um, you know, when you've got a doctor making $450,000 a year that can't accumulate a $25 million net worth, mm -hmm. and you've got a politician that's making 175000 a year and they accumulate a $12 million pe uh, net worth, and they happen to be a better trader than Warren Buffett mm -hmm. because they've mm -hmm. got access to inside information, mm -hmm. it's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong. And, and if you do the math, and that's what, it's an insult to me, to anybody, because when we looked at a certain president who was worth, his net worth was 900000 when he became president. He was from Chicago. He didn't have any wealth. He didn't have any anything. Today, he's worth bunches. It's like $137 million, $137 million, uh, and his salary was 400000 a year, and he was there eight years, eight times four. What's that, $3,200,000? No. No. Not even that much. I was thinking about something when you asked me the math, so. Yeah, I think yeah, three million, yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd be one yeah, point, yeah. 1.2 million. If you, no, four years at 400,000 is 1.6 million. Okay, so he's worth 3.2, basically, on paper when he got out of office. But since then, he's acc accumulated all this wealth. Where did it come from? Where did it come from? I didn't send it to him. 
who sent it to him? Where well, did he get it? Let me ask you this question. I'll ask you in the audience out there, okay? How many people do you know would compromise their integrity for $100,000? Mm, interesting. Do you know how many people that would compromise their integrity for 100000 mm. Think of human nature. 80%? I would say it's probably close to 80%. Yeah. Now, especially if, if you can be convinced that... It's not going to hurt anybody. That it's not going to hurt anybody. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. What about a million? Mm -hmm. What about 10 million? Because mm -hmm. I, I always have this conversation with the kids. I'm like, okay, what's the price of your integrity? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it ten dollars? Is it a mm -hmm. hundred? Is it you know? At what point? You know, most people say, "Well, if I was set, my kids were set for life, then mm -hmm. yeah, I'd 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 take the sacrifice." Most mm -hmm. people will say that, mm -hmm. and most people will not admit that out loud. But think about it: when mm -hmm. you've got access to corporations that are that are able to give you ten and fifteen and twenty million, put your kid on a company where they don't have much of a job and pay them a half million dollars a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And have no knowledge. Are we talking about my, my are we talking about my cousin Hunter Biden? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just talking about all politicians in general. I love this. This is my sign that's been just worn out, just about worn out, y'all. Look at this. It is taggered and torn. Hey, and <laughs> here's one thing that I will point out to people, okay? If one thing that we have learned, am I interrupting you no, here? No, no. One thing that we have learned. So Holly goes to the grocery store at Ingalls. Their infrastructure was down. Mm -hmm didn't have enough cash to buy what mm -hmm. she wanted to get, mm -hmm. and they took a personal check. Right. Okay. They do that with had, me. Yes. Locally, that's yes, the case. they do that with me. Yeah. I do think it's prudent for everybody to consider, look, make sure that you've got flashlights and, and some food and water, water filter capabilities and mm -hmm. things of that nature, because this is a warning that something could happen in our area keep enough cash on hand hide it in your vehicle somewhere that if you have an emergency and, and credit cards are down or something like that that mm -hmm. you can fill your tank up with gas you can get some groceries i think this is a point in time where we have to pay attention because god allows things to happen sometimes as a warning for us and there's nothing foolish about making sure that you're prepped you've got some food on hand to get you through for a period of time you got some water on hand in case mm -hmm. the power's out you got some cash on hand Keep your cars topped off. I've not even gone into the potential risk that's taking place in the Middle East right now. But mm -hmm. oh my gosh! Uh, and we didn't even talk about the about strike. That. We could do a two-hour show easily. Yeah, you know, we, could, we actually could. Yeah, yeah. The, the strike is is a big part of what is about to destroy the economy in America. So yeah, we don't it, know what's going to happen. It's it's we're headed. So the COVID shortages, mess. you can laugh about the people that have got some toilet paper, but I'd recommend you go get a few things now because mm -hmm. look, hey, maybe the strike's over in two days, mm -hmm. okay? But we're a just-in-time inventory economy, mm -hmm. and I got a minute. Mm -hmm. Just-in-time inventory economy. That means if that strike was to go for two weeks, that's two weeks worth of just-in-time inventory that's not getting there. Mm -hmm. This is something that could impact everybody across the country mm -hmm. so just just take it as a warning right take it as a warning get yourself in a position where you got a little bit of cash that you can survive in the interim period if you can afford to get yourself several months worth of food and set aside rotate on the shelves mm -hmm. it's not crazy mm -hmm. no matter what they tell you it's mm -hmm. not crazy mm -hmm. it's prudent and it, let's look if you've got a month worth of food on the shelves and and the strike causes food to go up you know double in price because you just can't get lord it anywhere, help us that's better than having money in the bank right now, paying four mm -hmm. percent interest or five percent. What mm -hmm. four point six is what mm -hmm. what you should be getting on savings and money market mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. But um, we've been warned. We've That's been warned. We've been warned. It's time for us to get out of here. We're warned. We're warned. Thank you for being with us today. Tune in. Remember, this is going to YouTube. Share it with your friends and your neighbors. We love y'all. See you again soon. Bye.